Analyzing the portfolio weights reveals the investment bets. The larger the weight of an asset in the portfolio, the more influential it will be in determining the future value of the portfolio. When studying this impact, investors typically do not analyze the change in the investment value in absolute terms, but in relative terms. This leads them to compute simple returns defined as a change in value over the period relatively to the initial value. The simple return is thus the final value minus the initial value divided by the initial value. As an example, suppose the initial value is $100, the final value is $120, then the return on that investment equals 20%, obtained by taking the difference between 120 and 100 and dividing it by 100. In the slide, I show you how we can apply this definition for computing portfolio returns. This involves three steps. First, for the initial date, we need to compute the total value invested as the sum of the values of the different investments. Second, for the final date, we have to sum the final values of the individual investments to obtain the final portfolio value. Then, we can compute the portfolio return as a percentage change of the final value compared to the initial value. As an example, let us consider a two asset portfolio that invests $200 in asset one and $300 in asset two. The end value is $180 and $330. If we sum the values, we find that the total initial value of the portfolio is $500 while the total final value is $510. It follows that the simple return on the portfolio is a $10 change in value divided by the initial $500 invested, which gives us a return of 2%. The disadvantage of this calculation method is that it does not show how the portfolio weights determine the portfolio return. Let us therefore consider a different formula in which the portfolio return is computed as the weighted average of the returns of the underlying assets. Its calculation proceeds also in three steps. First, the initial weights of the positions are computed. Secondly, the return on each of the individual positions is determined. Then, in the third step, the portfolio return is computed as the sum over the products between the initial weights and the corresponding returns. In the slide, you see how to apply this formula to compute the return for our example portfolio with two assets. We first compute the initial portfolio weights. Since the initial value of the first asset is $200 and the total value invested is $500, the initial weight of asset one is 40%. The remainder of 60% is the weight of asset two. Then, in the second step, we need to compute the returns for each of the assets. For asset 1, we obtain that the individual return is minus 10%, while for asset 2, the return is plus 10%. Finally, we can combine those results and compute the portfolio return by summing over the weights multiplied by their respective returns. The first term is the weight of 40% times the return of minus 10%, which gives us minus 4%. The second term is a weight of asset 2, 60%, times its, re its return of 10%, which gives us plus 6%. Adding minus 4% and plus 6% gives us the portfolio return of plus 2%, which is exactly the same number as obtained before. The next interactive exercises put this theory in practice.